This week's show brought to you by Roosters, a fun casual joint. Frank Shoup, Georgetown's big name in cars. Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals, Lady Cardinals News Graphic Coaches Show, 11th Region Championship Tournament Edition. By the time you see this, well, the Cardinals, the Lady Cardinals will already have one game under their belt. In fact, they've already played it. It was Monday night. Scott County took out Madison Southern, 84 to 45. Kind of as expected, Madison Southern came into that game 12 and 17. The Cardinals, it was their 29th win of the season against only two losses. 19 consecutive wins for Scott County. They have not lost since uh, the week after Christmas in a Christmas tournament up in Ohio. So things have been going well. What went well in the game against Madison Southern? Uh, jumped out to an early lead. Madison Southern kind of battled back, tied it at eight. And then the late first quarter, early second quarter, they were able to stretch out that advantage. The real jump came uh, right after the start of the second half. Some players that were in foul trouble, particularly Morgan DeFour, kind of uh, got SC on a run, took it to a running clock, and uh, got it to a 35-point margin in fairly short order. Good balance in that game. Peyton Riddle with 18 points, uh, Morgan with 16, Malia Owens with 12. She battled foul trouble as well. Big contributions off the bench from Braley McMath, Malia Williams, uh, Zephaniah Gray, Lexi Hoffman, uh, Kennedy Tompkins. That's something we've seen all season, and it has continued right into the district tournament and the region tournament. This team's depth. They have 10 players score, 10 players get a steal. There's just uh, no shortage of people that can make an impact. And uh, whether foul trouble crops up, whether maybe Coach Elton wants to get somebody out and uh, give them a little pep talk on the sidelines, there's always someone that can go in and get the job done. We've known that all season long. We've talked about finding roles, and, and coaches talked about finding roles. This team has done just that. So they face now a Friday night semifinal. It'll be against, uh, who will it be against? <laughs> It'll be against Paul Lawrence Dunbar, a uh, team that barely squeaked out a quarterfinal win over Woodford County. Uh, Woodford County had that one in hand, it seemed like, until about two minutes to go. And then Michelle Cecil, the 11th Region Player of the Year, went on a run. She was held to five points most of the game, but she scored six in the final three minutes as Dunbar picked up a 53-51 victory. And that game, that semifinal, will be at 6.30 on Friday night. It's a rematch of a game Scott County won 79-67 at Dunbar during the season. And it was kind of a 20-22 point game until the end. And uh, I think Dunbar kind of left some of its uh, stars in. Cecil had 34 points in that game. The rest of the team had 33. So... You didn't see Scott County do anything special to try to slow her down. It was sort of the, you know, let her get hers. And one thing the Lady Cards do is focus on themselves. They worry about their own game and their own style and imposing their will. I don't think you'll see Dunbar try to slow the game down. And that's something that always makes Scott County and particularly Coach Helton nervous if a team's going to do that. Don't think you'll see Dunbar do that on Friday night. And the other semifinal will be between the three time defending regional champion, Franklin County. And Lafayette. Lafayette, of course, the team that knocked out SC last year. And Franklin County, a team that in the regular season, Scott County has beaten each of the past two years. So they got some confidence there. Uh, score to settle if it's Lafayette. Confidence if it's Franklin County. Got to get through Friday night first, though. Uh, some things to watch in this region tournament. Foul trouble uh, happened in the district tournament as well in the championship game against Henry Clay. We'll talk a little bit about that one before we sign off. Foul trouble, uh, the chance of a team wanting to slow the game down. I know Franklin County did it in the regular season with a little bit of success for at least a half before Scott County pulled away. Uh, just some things that happen in the regional tournament that you might not see during the regular season as teams get a chance to prepare. Uh, they won't get a chance to prepare for anything special between the semifinals and the championship game, though, as those are on back-to-back -back nights. Championship game will be Saturday at 7.30. We mentioned the 42nd district tournament. A tougher than expected game, 66 to 53 win for Scott County over Henry Clay, a team they beat by 30 points and 40 points in two regular season meetings. Jumped out in those games, did not shoot the ball well in the first quarter, and that was what allowed Henry Clay to kind of pick their spots, slow the game down, take only good shots, and they sank those shots to take an early 10 point lead. But uh, SC rolled back, had the advantage before halftime, and uh, fought off several runs to win that game last Friday night. Second consecutive sweep of both the regular season and the playoffs in the district for Scott County and uh, gets them into uh, region tournament on a roll. If they get through the region, 
Next week will be the Sweet 16. It starts on Wednesday up at BB&T Arena on the campus of Northern Kentucky University, and it's no picnic for Region 11. Whoever comes out of Region 11, they'll face the Region 7 champ, which a lot of people presumptively think will be Sacred Heart, the number one ranked team, uh, at least uh, many polls and many computer rankings in the state. So uh, the work will be cut out for whoever comes out of this. A lot of people, uh, myself included, if you read the story, uh, the preview section, I kind of put the odds at uh, even money or even a little better than that. Three to five is what I said for Scott County. I just, I just see this being their tournament to lose. Uh, it's just a matter of keeping confidence, uh, not letting the moment get too big, make some shots, and impose their will and impose their tempo. That's the big thing. Uh, we, we saw they weren't able to do that against Henry Clay. They were able to do it for the most part against Madison Southern. And when they score the way they're capable of scoring, they average 80 points a game during the season. It's going to be hard for any team in the region to keep up with that. But we will see how it all shakes down. You, of course, can go to news-graphic.com for uh, breaking stories after each game. Uh, catch all the photos and the full coverage in the print editions on uh, Saturday and Tuesday. And uh, actually Thursday as well. You might see this before then. And we'll have uh, full coverage of the first round game in Thursday's edition as well. So stay with us throughout the tournament, girls and boys, region and state. We've got you covered. I'm Cal, and we hope to see you on the sidelines.